Good morning, this is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I am coming to you live from Mesa, Arizona, where I had to turn the heat on in the house this morning. Um, I know for many of you that you've had your heat on for some time, but I just finally turned it on and um, to heat up the house a little bit. It appears that the coldest room in the house is my craft room. So I gotta keep that warm so that I can continue to craft. Good morning, Brenda. Thanks for joining me. Did you turn your heat on? Sue, how about you? Um, uh, this morning, I am going to share a fun video, or not video, a fun project with you. Good morning, Don. Good to see you this morning, too. Uh, it's something I haven't done in a long, long time, and I drug it out, and I went, oh, I wonder why I haven't made any of these. So as we're um, giving gifts and leaving things on people's doorstep, maybe a bottle of wine or a bottle of champagne or a bottle of sparkling juice are um, on your list. This um, wine bottle tag is really fun and easy and you can create it with the supplies that you have on hand because you can make them any design that you wish. Um, so already I'm going to get started this morning and I'll put my camera down and show you what I've been creating. All right, so I was thinking about the new year and what do you usually do with the new year? You use uh, champagne and if you're not an alcohol drinker, then you can have some sparkling juice. But these super fun tags, um, and actually if you um, change the size a little bit, they can also be used for um, soap dispensers that you get at um, Bath and Body Works, you can hang that on there. You can hang it on a glass of water or even like a diet pop or a regular pop. Um, good morning, Wendy. Thanks for popping in. We're gonna be making some quick and easy um, wine bottle tags or any kind of bottle tags today. So um, this is how it fits on my true bottle of wine here. So it, uh, the dimensions I'm going to give you work really well for that. So the, uh, this is the one I made using the perfectly plaid stamp set and the coordinating pine tree punch. And then I made another one using the brightly gleaming um, suite of products from Stampin' Up. I know that the brightly gleaming Products are on Stampin' Up's year-end closeout. Um, they'll be retiring, so if you like um, this punch and the ornaments and the designer series paper, you might want to pop on and see if that is um, still available. Good morning, Sandy. Thanks for popping in today. So that's, um, I just love the copper in that designer series paper. So the tag that I'm going to help you recreate today is this one using the um, perfectly plaid stamp set. It's a photopolymer stamp set, meaning that you can see right through the stamp so it makes it easier to stamp. I'm also using um, the banner year stamp set. Good news, the banner year stamp set, we will be seeing it again in a future catalog. The perfectly plaid is already available in Stampin' Up's annual catalog on page 60 and it has a coordinating punch available the pine tree punch that's also in the annual catalog i'm also using the heartwarming hugs designer series paper and that is in um, stampin ups august through december holiday catalog but it is too going to be making a comeback i really love that um, designer series paper that has two sides to it so here are the dimensions um, i will also have these dimensions on a blog post later in the week so i started out with a mossy meadow piece of cardstock score um it's measures eight by three and one quarter Morning, Beth. Thanks for popping in. And it's scored at two and a quarter. 
So you can see how that makes the tag. The one thing I really love about Stampin' Up's designer series paper is that all the colors coordinate. So on the back of the package, it tells you which colors are um, included so you know what to have on hand when you want to have a project. And just having the coordinating projects makes it very um, easy to be successful. So then the heartwarming hugs piece, it measures five and a half by three. I also have a um, sentiment piece that measures uh, one half inch by three. And a tag for the back measures three by one and a quarter. The other items I will be needing is a scrap of Whisper White, um, scraps of the Mossy Meadow to stamp the trees. I have a real red uh, layering circle that I've already die cut and a gold, uh, which this stitched circle. So those are some of the products that we'll be using paper-wise and I have a bunch of other punches that I'll bring in here as we go along. Um, let's do some of the punching first. So as I mentioned, this is five and a half by three. I'm going to be rounding some corners using Stampin' Up's detailed trio punch. And it's fun because it has three different things you can do with it. And um, I love the corner rounder. And you just slip the corner in and snug it in tight there and just press down and it rounds your corners for you. Gives it a little different, more finished look. Good morning, Tammy, thanks for popping in. So I'm just gonna do those two bottoms and then I'm also going to do the Mossy Meadow base as well and give that um, a quick little rounded corner making sure it's tucked into the corner. I also wanna do the top and there we go, starting to look more and more like a tag as we go. Get my scraps out of the way. I'm going to be using my Stamp and Seal Plus and I'll put my designer series paper, my heartwarming hugs that I've already cut and um, punched. I'll just layer that right on the front of the tag. I just love these to have on hand in case you uh, have a last minute um, invitation to a party or you have to give a last minute gift. These always work really well for that. All right, let's put that aside. Let, let's do our stamping because there is quite a bit of stamping. I already have my trees on my blocks. This is a two-step stamping process. Um, and I'm going to bring in my mat, my stamp and pierce mat. Um, when you use a photopolymer stamp, it gives us a little bit of extra push and it gives us um, a better image. These, um, you won't find them in the catalog, but they are available online. Um, at one time, Stampin' Up! retired them and then they brought them back because they are such an awesome tool to have in your stamping arsenal. So, good morning, Chris. Thanks for popping in. Let's see. I think I'll do the one tree first. Um, just make it... Because the tree needs two, two swipes, two stamps to make it a tree. I'm going to turn that over. I don't know what that was. Press down evenly and firmly. I should bring in the white too because I'm gonna need that. I did all three colors, all three trees in the mossy meadow. So here's the first layer. Good morning, Linda, thanks for popping in today. I'm making a fun, quick and easy wine bottle tag or it can be for um, sparkling grape juice or if you cut the measurements down, it's even good for those as a hanger on the those bath and body lotion hand soaps. All right, so there's the first, um, first level of the tree and then here's the second one that I'm inking up into mossy meadow and I'm just going to hover over the tree um, the photopolymer makes it easy to line up just pressing down evenly and firmly letting that ink sink into my 
paper. There we go. That's a good looking tree. And we'll finish up the others. See if I can, it's a little harder to see on that green. On our mossy meadow. And over here. And then we'll be able to punch those out. Stampin' Up's coordinating products are so awesome. Everything goes together and it helps me be a successful stamper. Everything looks good. All right. Now that our stamping is completed, let's bring in our pine tree punch. Um, I always leave myself a little handle at the top on that cardstock to punch that tree. Punch out with one tree, two trees. And then we'll get our white tree here. Okie doke. So we have our three trees. Um, and you know, let's do one more bit of stamping. Um, let's do our sentiment. And so that little white piece measures one half by three inches. And I am going to use the Christmas Wishes sentiment from the Banner Year stamp set to um, adorn my tag. And that's the Christmas Wishes going to be in the real red. That's the coordinating color. And this should help me get it really on straight because I can see right through it. All right, again, just gonna let that ink sink in. We'll pull it off, we're good to go. And while we have the ink out and ready to go, let's do the to and from for the back side of that. And that to and from also comes from the Banner Year stamp set. Um, did that in Whisper White to go onto the Mossy Meadow. And you could decorate that up any way you wanted. All right, looks like we're done with the stamping, so we just need to put it together. This is what we're going for. And this is where we are. So I will uh, fix my gold using the stitch shapes. I think I use those stitch shape the most of any of my dies. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love, love, love the circles and the squares um, and use them quite a bit. I don't use the rectangles as much, but um, I still, I love those. All right, let's bring in our trees. And I put the white tree in first using some of um, Stampin' Up's glue dots, just a couple of those on the back. I'm going to put that in the middle of our tag. You know, and this would make a really, just this piece, punch a hole in it and makes a really cute tag as well. If you wanna get really fancy for your gifts or if you have some extra time, I'm not sure who has extra time, but um, if you did, you could do this. But it's a beautiful tag would make that tag as well. So we're gonna just put this on a wine bottle. And you know, if you know, um, as direct sales, if you know people who sell wine, this might be um, a good gift to give to them too. And you can, they, you can show them what they can do, um, give to their customers. So then let's just put our stamp and seal plus on the back. You could pop this up with dimensionals if you wanted to. I'm just gonna place that right in the middle, right there, make sure it's straight. What do you guys think? Um, alrighty, you can just, isn't it fun how all these little additions just dress it up? So I'm gonna use the Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of that sentiment this time. Putting a bunch on so that doesn't doesn't sag. Um, and think about all the other stamps that you have on hand. It doesn't necessarily have to be this set, but it's a real easy um, pattern to follow to make something quick and easy when, uh, when you need something like that. Uh, I'm going to just flip that around real quick and put this, uh, the two from on the back. So if you want to do any messages, you can do that. Before we put our jewels on, I'm just putting uh, glue dots on the back of that. And um, 
All righty. So what's left? Let us use um, Stampin' Up's one and a half inch circle punch and make the hole for the top. So this one's kind of, you just have to eye it up. I have it pushed in all the way, but I don't want to do that because I'm that will probably, um, good morning, Avenel. I will probably hit on the line. So I'm just going to move it down and just see that I have enough on... Good morning, Andrea. Thanks for popping in. I'm making a cute um, wine bottle tag, and I'm just going to make the hole, and that will fit in my my wine bottle very well. Of course, we have to do it sideways like that. So anyway, there's that. The hole is made. We're good to go. That's the one and a half inch circle punch. And then... Um, and yes, uh, Chris, you know, my sister works for the Forest Service, so I'm always looking for projects with trees. And Stampin' Up! doesn't disappoint in the tree area. We really have some really fun things to use. So I will just dress up my tag using some of um, Stampin' Up!'s red rhinestones. And I have used a bunch of the rhinestones this year. Um, they're self-adhesive, self-stick. So I just use my fingernail, and I know there's a take your pick tool for that, but I always forget about it, and um, it probably make that way easier, and it would look way. Um, and then I'll put one at the tippy top of the tree. There we go. Alrighty. So this morning, that's how quick and easy our wine bottle tag, or like I said, if you don't do alcohol. Um, the sparkling grape juice would work if you're um, into that and or scale it down and use it for hand soaps or water bottles or um, Diet Coke or Coke bottles. Thanks so much, Sandy. I appreciate that. I love stamping up and I love the coordinating products and making quick and easy projects that will make your holidays um, a little bit easier. This is, um, if you caught me late, this is the other tag that I had made earlier using the Brightly Gleaming projects. Now I'm thinking ahead to New Year's Eve, wondering if there's a project I can create um, using using our products to bring in the new year that we're all looking forward to. Thank you so much, Chris. Thanks for popping in. I will have the measurements on my blog. My blog is kimplayswithpaper.com. If you need a link, let me know and I can direct you to that. If you're shopping at all on the Stampin' Up! website, kimquady.stampinup.com. Be sure to check out the year-end closeout sale. Many of the items in the August through December mini 2020 catalog are being retired. Some of them are even discounted. So you want to check that. And last week, the clearance rack was also refreshed, and there are a few things left from that as well. So I thank you so much for joining me this morning for my quick and easy wine bottle tag project. I will be back next Tuesday at 8.30 with another fun, um, what I think is a quick and easy project for 2021. All right, if you guys have any questions at all, give me a holler and I'd be happy to help. Uh, if you're traveling, safe travels and stay safe, be well, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, bye-bye.